So inflation is measured using the consumer price index. And in this video, we're going to have a look at limitations of this as a measure of inflation and we'll determine whether it typically overstates or understates inflation. So the first limitation of the consumer price index is what's called the quality adjustment bias. Now to demonstrate this, let's say that we have a car being one of the goods in the basket. And let's say in 2005, you could get a brand new car for $20,000. I'm just completely making these up. And in 2015, you can get a brand new car for $40,000. Now the whole purpose of inflation is to measure changes in purchasing power over time. Here we can say that in 10 years there was a doubling of the price, which amounts to about 10% per year roughly. So we could say there's been about 10% inflation. But would we really say that purchasing power has halved from 2005 to 2015? It's true that with $40,000 in 2005 you could buy two cars, in 2015 you can buy one car. But that's only looking at the quantities, it's not looking at the qualities of the goods. A brand new car from 2015 would most assuredly be better than a brand new car from 2005. You would have 